Hey comic book fans, your pal David here to give you guys your comic fix. Now it's been about a week since my last comic review. Well, I am back and I'm ready to kick some ass. And first up is going to be Saga issue number 5. Now if, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, you should know. I absolutely love Saga. Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Stables are doing such a fantastic job on this book that I think that anybody who can read should read this book. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole storyline because that is just the meat of this whole entire book. It's just the storyline is so fantastic that I would hate if anyone ruined the storyline for me. What I am going to tell you is that you got all these different characters that were introduced through the five issues. While they all get a point to shine, except for the ghost. I forget what her name is, but everyone else gets a chance to shine. And it's interesting how Brian K. Vaughn can, he has, what, 30 pages to tell a story? And he can get all these characters in there and to have them all shine and have face time where you don't feel like anybody was gypped. And I love how he can write all these different characters and have every, you liking every single one of them and wanting to know more about them. Now, just know that there is a death in this whole in this book. I'm not going to ruin who, but it will be a shock to everybody and just you want to know more. Fiona Staples' art, just awesome. I mean, these this team of Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples is just some of the most beautiful work I've ever seen. And I just, I just gush all over this thing. And I would hate to ruin the storyline, so I'm not. I'm just going to tell you, go out and buy this book. It's a jumping on, perfect jumping on point of any issue. And just go to your local comic book store and buy the shit out of this book and support this team. Because they're doing such a fantastic job. I'm going to give Saga, issue number 5, an unexpected 5 out of 5. Next up is... Fantastic Four, issue number 608. Now, I'm not really a Marvel type of guy, but Hickman, he's a fantastic writer. I just love the stories that he's telling. In this one, we got Reed Richard and the old Black Panther coming together to go and find out why Black Panther was having these dreams. And in these dreams, he was having a dream of him going into the crypt where all the ex-Black Panthers who had passed away go. And I just love how the art, I don't remember the artist's name, but when they go into like this crypt type of area, which you find out it's more of like a whole kingdom for these ex-Black Panthers who have passed away, and how the artist can get all these details in those scenes. And just some fantastic stuff. Now there were some points in there where you got the females of the... You got Sue Storms, um, Storm from the X-Men, and the new Black Panther who... She's a badass. And you get their segments, but their segments were not as big as the segments between Reed and the ex-Black Panther. I don't remember his name, but when they go in to get... For Black Panther to get his redemption... Just some beautiful stuff come out of it. And the art by, uh, I don't remember his name, the art with Hickman's writing, just fantastic. And I cannot wait to read the next issue of Fantastic Four. I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. Definitely Hickman's just one of the writers that I've been really enjoying. And i really sad to see him go, but he's going to be going on to Avengers. And I actually may pick it up since I've actually been really enjoying Hickman's job he's been doing with Fantastic Four. And my last one for this video is going to be Captain Marvel, issue number one. Now, the only reason why I picked it up was because of the art. I was just flipping through the book, and I just saw this art, and I was like, I have to have this. I mean, um, oh, Soy, who is the artist of this book, he does a fantastic job. And let me just show you some of the artwork in here. I mean, I just saw this in the comic book store, and I was like, it's just beautiful work but I thought the thing that was really lacking in this book was the story that was being told it's all about Captain Marvel who is formerly known as Miss Marvel basically getting the name of Captain Marvel and it was 
kind of uninteresting. I mean, there was some action in there, but the action scenes were gone so quick. And then we got Miss Marvel, now Captain Marvel, just saying, I don't want to be known as Captain Marvel because Captain Marvel's dead and I don't want to take on his name. He was such a great man. And <laughs> those stuff just did not resonate with me as much as it could have. Now, if the art was not there, I would not have picked this one up but the art just kept me going and I'm actually gonna see where the story goes but this issue it was a little lacking especially in the story department but in the art you're gonna get some great stuff and I do love when she's in outer space and you see her uh, basically get a mask and it was just like oh that's so cool it looks something like off Dead Space 2 where Isaac Clark comes out of the thing and he has his armor and the head thing comes over him, his helmet, something like that, just really cool stuff. So I'm going to keep on with the series and see where it goes from there, but for this one I'll get Captain Marvel issue number one, three out of five. Definitely the R saved this book. So in my next video I'm going to be doing some reviews of uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws. Nightwing, issue number 11. And then DC Universe Presents Savage, issue number 11. So if any of those books entice you, please just subscribe and keep on watching. Well, my name's David, and I hope you guys enjoyed the fix, and I'll see you next time.